May 2016, the Mark Madsen Birthday Challenge. I'm 64 years old. The Mark Madsen Birthday Challenge is do your age in pull-ups, your age in dips, twice your age in push-ups, up and down a 16-foot pegboard twice in a row, and a true one-handed pull-up with each hand. After the age of 50, you get to take one off for every year. That means when you get to be 100, you only have to do one pull-up. And let me tell you, if I'm 100 and I can do one pull-up, I'm going to be a happy camper. So far, I'm still maxing out on most of the birthday challenge. Check it out. Okay, this is the 2016 Mark Madsen birthday challenge, 16 foot pegboard, twice in a row. Okay, the other thing you should check out on YouTube is all the other pegboards that are on YouTube. And see how the Mark Madsen 16 foot pegboard, twice in a row, compares to everybody else's pegboard. And if you find one that's better, please send it to me, because I haven't found it yet. Then go to Bodybuilders After 60, or 40 for that matter, and see how this guy compares to that guy. May 2016, the Mark Madsen Birthday Challenge. Breaking rocks in the hot sun, which I'm probably pretty good at. Matter of fact, I will say that we have the best, most efficient limestone quarry on the planet Earth. And if anybody has one or can show me a limestone quarry that's more efficient, I would be glad to give them $500 cash. If you can prove or show me a limestone quarry that's better run, more efficient, well, and it has more fun than we have. I don't even care about the fun part. Just show me one that's run better and is more efficient than ours. And uh, I'll give you 500 bucks. Because, hello, it'll be worth 500 bucks to me just to see how to improve my own company. It's a no-brainer. Speaking about no-brainer, let's get our act together and vote for the future president of the United States. You know, I'm getting tired of the rhetoric that we've been going through. We finally got a man that's going to do something the right way, the way it should have been done, America first, and reestablish the American work ethic today. Donald Trump is the only man that can do that. So give it some thought, do some research on the subject before you vote.
You owe it to yourself, and you owe it to me and everybody else on the planet. I've done my research. Five. Well, that's 55. Ah! That's still not too bad. I'd rather die while I'm living than live like I'm dead, as Buffett would say. And yes, we did have a great time at Buffett this year. I took my girlfriend instead of the stripper pole. Wise choice, Mark Madsen. And I uh, had a great time, great friends, Van Gelder, Coach Bus. It doesn't get any better than that. Being buffed at Buffett with my son, Luke Madsen, who looks almost as good as his dad, depends on who you ask, um, is quite an honor and it's fun being with my son and doing stuff with my son and with his son. He just had a baby boy, Logan Kenneth Madsen, carry on the Madsen name, and I'm sure he's going to be a star. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell, he's only uh, a month or two old now, but uh, it's just awesome. And I got my daughter and son-in-law and all those kids living next door in my mom's house, and it's awesome. You know, I get to see the kids all the time, and they're running around, pooping in the front yard. <laughs> We're building Dominic's Ford out back. We're building a prison to put Olivia in. I'm not kidding you. It's deja vu, just like it was back in the good old days. Um, honestly, I haven't changed much. Um, I'm living the life. I'm just loving it. Things are great. I've been blessed from above. Uh, probably for good reasons. Uh, I try to make people happy. I think it comes back in return. I believe I'm here to inspire and entertain people. I hope I'm inspiring younger people, older people, and I hope I'm entertaining people. That's my one of my missions on Earth. I believe I was 135. But who's counting? Everybody should have their own birthday challenge annually, obviously, and do your own eulogy so that you can play this in case you pass away. What better person to be there than yourself? That's where I'm going to be. I don't plan on dying, but I'm planning on living to be 100 and dying tomorrow. That means if it happens, I'll be prepared. Prepare yourself. It could happen tomorrow. Thank you. Goodbye.